Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to BPM Bullets Per Minute. Last run was Jerry, Jerry! Now we're playing as Herf Yoder. Is this that rifle that I saw in the last run? I can't remember. What is your thing? Hmm, I beat you on easy. You have a snipe shot. What's your negative? What's, what's your deal? I feel like there's gonna be some something here happening, but let's uh, let's see what happens. I forgot what this character is. I completely forgot forgot what this character is. Ah! No, this is the the three reload rifle. Our money is our health. Our health is our money. We've got a snipe shot we can toss out if we need to, and every time we get hit. I suppose we lose, like, some amount of our money. So now we have five cents, we got five cents. So health isn't gonna matter, shields are not gonna matter, I don't think. We do have to be careful spending our money, because if we spend our money, that is spending our health. But otherwise... This doesn't seem like a very hard character. This just seems like a character where... Ooh, nice. Some items are going to be incentivized. So is this a... Do we make money doing this? Nope, we lost one penny. <laughs> That's fine. We got to test it at some point. Dude. Why did we do so much damage to this guy? That was incredible. The freaking snipe shot, it says fast projectile. What it really should mean is a uh, projectile is gonna like one shot a boss projectile. That was so good. All right, let's move on. So when we walk into a room, we should definitely be using that to snipe the most difficult enemy in the room. I wonder if it gets around the shielders. Ooh, it's, uh, <laughs> for the fourth run in a row, I think. Downstairs, we go. I mean, I'm gonna freaking do it. Got him. I think, like, it's a no-brainer. Why wouldn't you want to go down there and get, uh, you know, the best advantages possible? So all of this is worthless. That does nothing. Odin sneakers. We only have one key. I mean, if we're gonna do it, we should just do it, right? Is there anything worth buying? Yes. We should go to the gambling room and we should see if we can get a good item. Armor. I assume that doesn't do anything. Range increase, max health, ability up, auto aim. Increases max HP. I'll take pure goodness. Now we can't get hit, but I'll take pure goodness. I think that's worth it. Why did I take the health? What happened there? Okay. We, I think I almost hit one of the uh, spiders, and I think that would have killed me. So I'm lucky I did not hit the spiders. We do not have the luck for that room. I wouldn't mind getting some new weapons or upgrades, but we do not have the cash for it. I kind of wish that the one anvil had a free ability on it, like a free upgrade, but you know, I just one-shot him. I can understand it not. Okay, seven cents. Are we gonna do the challenge room? You know, uh, why not? I think that if we do the challenge room, we're probably gonna get more out of it than we lose, even if we get hit. We 
because we're going to get a uh, an item. Now I did get a hit, but I think we're still making out with a little bit of profit. I had to shut up for a minute there, because whenever there's a shielder on the screen, I have to concentrate. <laughs> Cast ultimate. We don't have an ultimate, but that is a very good piece of equipment to have. Let's get the heck out of here, and I am going to go to the basement. As much as we've been doing that repeatedly. There's a, there's a reason why I do it, because it's good. You get good stuff, you get good loot. Good loot. I have an extra key, but I'm not going to walk all the way back. It really is just good loot. There's a bank too. See, uh, don't open the bank yet, because if you get hit, you're going to lose the money. What we're going to do instead is we're going to find the big bowl, and then we're going to start depositing our cash in there. That was a little weird. Uh, I'll spend the key, carry two weapons. I'd rather keep pure goodness, because that stats up for quite a while. Dude, we've got good damage on this weapon right now. I don't know if that's the explosive shots or if that's just the base damage of it, but I'll take it. There's gotta be something in here. There's gotta be a bowl or something. It's not just gonna be a room that's empty. There's, there's gotta be something. <laughs> Is it just an empty room? There's gotta be something in it. I don't know, I can't find it. I had to reload my gun, so I just used a snipe. I feel like every room has something in it, whether it's a bowl, whether it's like three locked chests, or three blind mice. Uh, that one just seemed to have nothing in it. It was very strange. Maybe stop accidentally, you know, fat fingering the keyboard and talking to myself. Okay, no reason to do that now. We have 20 cents. We want to find the big bolt. Killed him in one hit. That's so good. I do think that I probably should be min-maxing the coins a little bit more. Like, there's an ideal strategy. Leave the coins. Make sure you have, like, five so you can survive a couple of hits. And then when you find your target, go pick up the money. but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm just gonna go. Shotgun, pistol. That's like the double tap shotgun. First shotgun was the, the hand shotgun, which I was not interested. What is in this room? Just two birds. Two blind bats. Okay, here we go. Oh, double damage. Shots penetrate walls. Percentage damage, luck up. I mean, here's the thing. Shots penetrating walls is actually really good because it gets around the shielders, but double damage. So if we get the opportunity, we'll come back for the cast ultimate, but if we don't, you know, we have double damage at least. I'll take it. There's the bowl. And there's our big bowl. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of money into it and we're gonna probably max out our stats because we have a bank. If 
I really wanted to, I could uh, withdraw a little bit more cash. I'd also like to do the uh, challenge room. Since we have double damage, we're gonna one-shot everything that shows up except for shielders. So let's do that as well. Right. This happens to be one of the runs where we do not have infinite ammo. I really need to be better at dodging because you juke when you just so happen to move around the bullet that's coming at you, you dodge when you actually use your dodge when the bullet is being fired. Explosive clap. Honestly, the snipe has been pretty good. So I need to get a little bit better at that, just a little bit, just a wee bit better. That's pretty good. Hey, a clip up, I'll take it. We could go buy clip ups, but I, I think I would much prefer to just buy the stats because they're easy to get here. Then again, you know, stats are gonna be prevalent everywhere throughout the entire run, right? So, would we, would we prefer stats or clip? Honestly, I don't know. I'm just gonna, well actually, wait a minute, you get clip as you fill up this bowl, right? We're already at six. I'm gonna, I'm gonna withdraw money from the bank. I'm gonna go down to 200. Because I think we can actually get a ton of clip upgrades by using this uh, big bowl here. We're at six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. That's awesome. And incredibly powerful, too. Uh, it's a scroll, don't need it. We don't really need to reload ever now, which is awesome. I will take 18 out of 18. And we have full stats! Actually, we don't quite have full stats. We have to get rid of pure goodness first and then get six more, but then then we're, we're full up. Man, it has been so wonderful realizing that you get clip up from the big bowl. Speed and range versus finishing off low health enemies. Have, we have max speed and range, so let's not worry about it. Gotta remember, no reason to reload. Just keep going. We're gonna be seeing a lot of these uh, sacrificial shrines because we have full stats until we drop the pure goodness. He's still going. Just... <laughs> Just mow them down, never stop firing. That's so good. Rotatability slots, yes. We're gonna take it, we're gonna one, two, we're going to take it, we're going to four, three, one, two, four. We're gonna dump pure goodness now so we can start buying those six stats that we're missing. I said six, not sick. Six stats, man, yeah! Okay. Still have right mouse button being our sniper. And what do you have? Grenade, shotgun, explosive pistol. I don't know what the explosive pistol does, but it seems like it explodes. 
It seems like it does good damage, but I just don't know. Oh my god, the snipe. Part of that is probably the ability ups that we have. Uh, I just don't know if the explosive pistol beats the rifle. I also do not know. if the explosive pistol has infinite ammo, because if it does, I feel like it's a bit of a waste with our current loadout, because we have so much clip up, I want a weapon that has limited ammo, so I get advantage of having 18 clip up. This is good. Now we're just getting uh, sacrifices. We're not actually getting any opportunities to get stats, unfortunately. That won't be the case forever, I assume. Transform projectiles. Because it's hit scan, I kind of like what we have right now. Never having to reload is so good. Okay. <laughs> Took a lot of firing there, but we got it. Honestly, it's hard to argue against this combo of, of weapon right now because we also just do a ton of damage. Is it, does this weapon just do a lot of damage? Because that's what it feels like. It just does a lot of damage. Okay, double cooldown reduction is also really fun. Let's keep that. We don't need to finish off low health enemies. We can just fire twice as quickly. Normally I don't take this, but I'm gonna take it now. And uh, by the way, we're done with the floor. Let's fight the boss. I felt like I was not in the pattern, but I don't think it mattered because we just did so much damage. Sweet. Uh. We don't need any more clip up. We don't need any more damage up. Yeah, I think we just go. The bigger the enemy, the better the reward. You son of a gun. This cost me like 12 cents. On the one hand, it's nice not having a health meter. On the other hand, well, it sucks losing your money. I wonder, in theory, if cooldown reduction just gives us a larger window to make mistakes, too. Because sometimes it does feel like you have a longer window to make mistakes. Or maybe it's just harder to hit the, uh, you know, the double time reload on that. Harder than I'm giving it credit for. For bosses, I can see the, the cooldown reduction being good, but honestly, I think I, I stand by my previous, uh, previous analysis that I think it's just a bad item. I don't think it really fits with the game that well. Something about it just, oh my god, we overlucked so much. 
Something about it just doesn't really meld well with me. Maybe it's because you're constantly being uh, trained for one specific beat and then you gotta change it all of a sudden. Maybe that's it. Let's fight the boss. Wasn't much of a fight, but you know, I'll take it. So what am I, what am I here for? What am I looking for? I guess I'm just looking for better loot. Oh, that's not an enemy. It's one of those situations where I have, no, like brass knuckles. I have, uh, I've got the rotatability slots, I've got double damage, now I just wanna stack more damage ups. I don't know why I sometimes keep doing that quick reload. I'm not actually hitting the button that fast, it's the mouse. <laughs> uh, one day, man. One snipe, one shot, one kill. Maybe, maybe for my uh, birthday, I'll ask for a new mouse. Meow. That's a cat. But it, maybe it, maybe it's not. Maybe it's a meows. <laughs> Look, this is what happens when your brain is running on BPM. There's nothing, no, there is loot that we could get. We should look. Because there are weapons I would like to have over this. Timed explosives, maybe not. Nice. We've been spending a lot of keys on this floor as well, but we've been getting a lot of keys. Book. What are you, book? Raining coin. Yord's riches. Uh, you get a lot of money? As this character, that seems rather fantastic. Rain coin might as well just be called rain money, or... <laughs> Might as well be called Rain Health, if I can speak. There's nothing here. All right. We are one room away from finishing the floor. I just want to see what's over there. Please be something good and worth the effort of the run. Almost got stuck on the wall. Sprinting explodes. I do find the item itself pretty funny, but I don't think it's particularly good. We found a shop. That's good. Flip up opening mega shot. I think, I think I'm okay getting rid of cooldown reduction. So let's take opening mega shot. I mean, I think it is better because I don't like cooldown reduction. It, I just, it's again, it's one of those things that it just doesn't meld with me. I don't think it's particularly good in the game. So I'm gonna say no. It also doesn't work with everything. I don't think it works with the minigun. Although that would be kind of cool to have it, you know, spin up way faster. All right. Oh, we're already in hell. Dark Svoltenheim. How is it dark and also filled with lava? Explain that to me. Good. Whoa! I got I scared myself there. <laughs> we have full stats.
What happened? I rained coin. But it, it looked like I, uh, I had like a fat stack and I was just like chuk, 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 spamming bills. I do just rain coin on the ground. It is a very strange item. <laughs> I can't wait to do it again in one more room. All right. I mean, we should be able to stack up. We, don't need that. we should be able to stack up a lot of cash. And we should be able to buy everything. Ooh, such a good weapon. But sometimes it is hard to hit with. Let's take the clip up. Let's take the uh, nothing else. I want infinity ammo with no infinite ammo. We should be able to get there. What? Oh, probably one of you. Hate those enemies. No, it just spams a bunch of coins on the ground. It's like I clap. <laughs> I would I like to think that I actually have a fat stack though, and I'm just uh, you know, throwing bills on the ground. Alright, anything, anything at all? Echo your attack. Maybe we do want to get rid of opening Mega Shot for an Echo? Mm. Uh, honestly, ultimately, I, I don't think it actually makes that much of a difference. You know, opening Mega Shot versus damage over time, basically. Every shot doing a little bit more damage as opposed to one shot doing a lot more damage. I got thrown off by having to reload. I'm down to 16 cents. Oh, there's some more actually, we're fine. Solar flares, not a fan. Solar flares. I think it's better if you have a faster firing weapon. But it also doesn't look like it does that much. At least not when I've ever had it. Uh, you know, why not? Is it really gonna be any harder than any previous room that we've done? No. You son of a gun. And then I say that and then I still take a hit. I did spam a bunch of gold on the ground though. <laughs> I love the animation of that and I love just raining gold. That wasn't that bad. Enemies die over time. Again, doesn't seem that interesting. We already kill enemies quickly. And the aerial enemies, we have a hit scan weapon. I am wasting my mega shot on them constantly, but. And we're done with the floor. Ventral! Why am I all of a sudden seeing these double bosses? At what point in the game do you start getting double bosses that also have another modifier on top of them? It's hard to hide in two. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> I love it even more now that I realize there's physics on each one. I 
got hit there. I mean, it says flawless, and we can fight the boss. Honestly, I think we just go. We're, we're, we're fine, we're set, let's do it. We could explore a little bit more and try to find more equipment, but I think we're good. I think we're okay to go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all, thank you. You shower me with riches and your kind words. You son of a gun. I mean, taking damage doesn't really matter too much. We're losing... I'm gonna take this. We're losing uh, half of our money per hit. Right now we can take 15, seven, three, two, one. We can take like six hits with the current amount of money that we have. That's not that bad. I mean, ideally we'll take no damage, but that's unrealistic. Nom, nom, nom. You know, I guess there's another strategy here, which is put all the money on the ground and then you can always go back for more later. You know, take your damage early on the floor and then stack up, stack up, stock up for the next floor. We good? We good. Oh, it's a shop. Was not paying attention. Birdie! You know what? You're such a good pal and friend. I just want to say thank you. You're doing a great job. Thank you for opening up your shop. Thank you for the freebies, by the way. Your free healing has been very nice over the course of many runs. Kind of looks like there's something up there. I did hit with that opening shot. I just want to point that out. <laughs> it did work. Uh, and there's our boss fight, so we're just gonna do it. I think I missed. Which is unfortunate. Uh, yeah, let's go. Birdie, thank you again. You're so kind to me. Infinite ammo. I, I, you know, I, I just don't think we need it. Yeah, I mean, do you take it over the adventures for Dora? I suppose. The Fedora? Or we can just grab the boots, even though the boots are not amazing for us. We don't need the hat. So. Because this is it. We're done. Final fight. Don't do your freaking boss attack. That's how you take him out. <laughs> Almost got you, but you did get me once. Oh, 
Every time with the white screen. If I could change one thing. <laughs> Fun run, what did we unlock as? Herf Yoter. I need to see, I wanna know. Completing the game unlocks a second starting ability. We unlocked convert all items to coins. I suppose it does make sense, you know, complete, or uh, you complete, sorry, not complete. You convert items you don't want, maybe health and shield drops, max health drops into coins. So all of a sudden that room with the chest that just gives you random loot when you put coins into it, all of a sudden that can give you a lot more coins back depending on the ratio. Maybe it's one to one, maybe it gives a, a sack of coins for every item. Maybe by item it doesn't mean consumable, it means equipment, I don't know. In any case, fun run, and for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support the channel at any of the links below in the video description, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of BPM Bullets Per Minute.